I'm Sherry. And I'm Vicki. Ask the experts from dentalxrays.info. We'd like to demonstrate today some of the products from Dunspirin, which will help you with your dental imaging. Some of the most challenging x-rays are taken during an endo treatment. The working images needed need to be placed behind the rubber dam, which can be very, very challenging. What I'd like to show you today is how to assemble the Snapper ADS and show how it can be placed behind a rubber dam and also to include the apex of the tooth. I'd like to show you right now how to assemble the instrument itself. Here's a snap ray for the digital sensors. One is designed for endo, one for general full mouth x-rays. The difference between the two, again, is the cutout right here, allowing space for the tooth that has the file. The kit has two bars. Notice one has a 15 degree angle and one is very straight. The 15 degree angle is available for the shots that you need to get the apex of the tooth that does not show up with the traditional straight bar. What I like to do is show you how to assemble. Slide the clip down. You're going to squeeze the sensor between there, slide the clip back up, and this is ready to go into the mouth. Many uh, assistants prefer to use the ring system with it, so you can actually use these two holes here, place the bar into the holes and slide the ring on. On the ring itself, there it says anterior, posterior, and you're gonna slide on the side for the tooth that you're doing. We currently are gonna be doing a posterior tooth, so I'm gonna use the posterior and slide this in. So now you're good to go. Now I'm going to show you how to place this behind the rubber dam that's already placed in Sherry's mouth. If you can see now, the can root canal that we are doing is in one of the upper premolars. I've got it put together with the cutout of the snap ray on this side to allow for the tooth to come down and the, the actual file will not hit anything as she is closing. In order to get this in, what you want to do is actually release one side of the rubber dam, just Fold it over so you keep the area clean. Slide it in behind the tooth through the rubber dam. And once you get that in there, you can actually pull this back to make sure that you actually have it in far enough to accommodate the tooth. You can see there's the tooth and there's plenty of room for the file that it won't be hitting anything. You bring your tube in and follow the bar. Many times though when you're doing a tooth up there you miss the root tip. So what you want to do is use one of the angled bars that come with the kit and place that in instead and you can see it's got a 15 degree angle upward to actually bring your vertical tube angle a little higher and this will actually be able to uh, include the root tip for sure. When you take it out, this is how it was positioned then if you want to see right behind everything. We hope that this demonstration did help you today. And if you have any further questions, visit our website dentalxrays.info and click on Ask the Experts.